What you doing? Huh? Oh. Changing this. Why? Because this was broken. Yes. It was like this. So therefore it was not actually Let's see if I can focus on that. Up there. This right eh? this right here broke. This is where it would screw into the ceiling on both sides. So it wouldn't stay up on the ceiling. So Steve's putting the new one we bought up. Pretty easy changeover. So what was wrong? Alright. Huh? What was wrong? What was wrong when? When it didn't work. Uh, the gear was not actually hitting the piece of the fantastic pan, fantastic fan piece that would actually open and close the hood. Ah, so now if you so do it. So this was working, but it was not actually attached to the gear for the fantastic okay. fan. So now, if, you so turn it now on. if I turn it on, it's already up yep. in the up position. So if we wanted to turn it off, Spinning. And, and that sucker is closing. Yes, it is. I'm sorry about the thing looking so dirty. We need to clean that. Okay. Oh, no, it's very, very sturdy. Yay! Boom! Boom. All right. Nice fix. Back on. Easy fix. I'm assuming I'm on. Yeah. <laughs> you have to tell me when I'm on. <laughs> you were having fun playing with it. Okay. This was a gift from Duet Justice, who are now away from Tucson, which is kind of sad. But they were not using this. I think we mentioned it before. So they gave it to us. It's one of those espresso makers that you push up and then you force the water down at some, well, force through the coffee grounds. So I'm going to try it. Grounds. Espresso grounds. yes. I'm going to try it. I have Carefree Coffee Roaster Espresso from Carefree Arizona, which is like in the northern Phoenix area. So uh, we're going to do this for the first time. Like I said, um, we, don't, we tried this before with just regular coffee. It was, it was a nice cup of coffee, but it was not espresso. This is espresso. Cue elevator music. You can use a little scoopy. That's true, I could. According to the videos online, the key is to really pack this thing down. Looks like we could use a little bit more here. There we go. Yeah, the key is to pack it down so it's completely flat. And even. And even. There we go. That looks pretty compact. So there's no lines, no cracks. Anything is very solid. That's the key. Or and so then, we've been told. Or so we've been told, yes. I have it on good authority that you don't want cracks in your espresso. Then you put it, which way? There it goes. In here. So it's locked in place. Stupid me, I didn't start the stove. <laughs> that would help to heat up the water. We'll be right back momentarily. All right, we're back. Thanks for not making fun of me in the comments. Thanks for not making fun of me in the comments for not turning on the stove. Okay, water's boiling. So here is what I understand you do. So the handles are closed, just turned it off, and you pour the water in this top piece. Like so, you don't want to overflow it. Then you lift up, water sinks down. Whoop. There we go. And then you just press it down until it starts to get a little firm. Yeah, make sure your cup wasn't under. My cup wasn't under the, man, I'm having an awesome night tonight. About like, maybe like this. Yep. Yes. Let it sit and do its thing. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I gave it a little bit of force on that one. <laughs> there we go. And then up. 
once more. There we go. That's better. That's better. Yes. Learning experience. So I learned. Oh, you can't really see it very well because this is a this is not an espresso mug. Usually they're clear, especially if you want to demonstrate the espresso and how beautiful it is. We'll taste oh. it. That's the most important thing. Okay. I am willing to do another dish for this. There we go. Does it have the foam and everything? Oh, it has the foam. A little bit, yes. Yeah, we'll get better at it. Mm. Is that good? Perfect, perfect. So I learned on the first crank down, do it a little bit slower. Otherwise it might spill out a little bit over the edges. Wasn't a big deal. Secondly, have the stove on that helps with the boiling <laughs> of the water. And have your cup under it. And have the cup under it so the coffee doesn't go all over your counter. Those are pro tips, by the way. Keep those in mind and you will be great. So cheers to Espresso and our new to us rock coffee maker. Thanks to Duet Justice. <laughs>